I'm Alexandra Fosteropoulos. I make pita, spinach pita. <laughs> we have a Greek grandma, oh yeah, yeah, starring in this episode. Alexandra was born in Florina in northern Greece, which is famous for its pitas. She returns every summer from her home in New Jersey. Today she is making spinach pie or spanakopita. First, Alexandra slices some leeks and spring onions or scallions. Before I wash them, I put in salt. She rinses the vegetables in salted water to clean them better. She adds four tablespoons of olive oil okay. and a teaspoon of salt to the pan before briefly sautéing the leeks and then adding some black pepper followed by the spring onions. She adds a 350 gram packet of large leaf spinach and fries them until the leaves have collapsed. Alexandra adds 50 grams of cream yeah. cheese, 300 grams of diced feta and two generous tablespoons of cottage cheese. That would be mazithra. Mazithra, yeah! <laughs> you know! Mazithra, yeah! This is a substitute for mazithra, which is the Greek equivalent of ricotta. Alexandra scrambles five eggs and stirs them into the cooled spinach mixture with a little melted butter. Okay. Now I try. <laughs> it's good. Now I make the filo. To make the filo pastry, Alexandra stirs together 250 ml of warm water with a teaspoon of salt, followed by a tablespoon of corn oil and half a teaspoon Look. of dried yeast. Yes. Mm -hmm. She pours in 400 grams of all-purpose flour to create a soft but not sticky dough. She kneads this for a few minutes until it is smooth and then divides the dough, one third for the top, two thirds for the base of the pie. Then, look, I cut it, uh, this is down, yeah. this film, okay. more. This is what the top. She needs both doughs for a few minutes more before leaving them to rest for 30 minutes. I start now. Alexandra rolls the dough out in a similar way to Italian pasta, turning the dough regularly and rolling it over her pin to move it. My mother made the pita. After uh, I marry, I, I start okay. making pita. Alexandra has already melted a block of butter. That's all right. She spreads several tablespoons over the dough. She folds the pastry into three to form a rectangle and smooths more butter over it. Starting with the short side, she repeats this twice more. The pastry then goes into the fridge for 15 minutes for the butter to harden a little. She repeats this process with the other piece of dough which also goes into the fridge. This is now a very soft and stretchy dough. Finish. And this is okay. Messy. Put in the fridge there. Yeah, one spoon. It's good. Sticky. <laughs> this is the pizza. <laughs> a rolling pin is a dowel from a hardware store. Home Depot, what's the look? Yeah. Home Depot, okay. Uh -huh. What Home does Depot. she look for? A broomstick or a. Uh, the dog Dowels. Okay. Yeah. Alexandra rolls it up and carefully lowers it into the special pizza pie dish. 
The dough needs to fit comfortably up the sides, but you don't have to be too precise about it. Alexandra spoons more butter over the base. <laughs> she smooths in the spinach mixture to completely cover the base. She is planning to make more pitta later with the rest of the filling. She rolls out the pastry for the top of the pie and drapes it over the mixture. She wants a wrinkled effect. So it doesn't matter if it's crinkled? No, she likes it. Ah. Yeah, it like this, yeah. yeah. Then she spoons over a little more <laughs> butter. That's it. Alexandra twists the doughs together to seal the edges. Lastly, she stabs it with a toothpick to ensure moisture can escape. This is the pita. This pie has to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 160 degrees centigrade for an hour. And Alexandra makes a green salad to go with it. She has a trick to stop the phyllo pastry going soggy. She places forks under the pie and leaves it to cool. Done. For the table now. <laughs> Alexandra, her daughters and their friends have all turned up to lunch. It's a family favourite. Flavourful. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, oh, sorry, okay. Delicious, Mom. Oh, mm -hmm. oh delicious. Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies. <laughs>